Hi, and welcome to day 27 or baby step 26 of the Fly Lady method. If you haven't seen my previous videos, please check out the playlist below. Watch them one, in, one a day in order. These are habits that we're trying to build slowly so that we don't get burned out. And these habits will become our routines that are the foundation of the whole system for managing your house and your personal life. So <clears throat> at this point, you have established or you are establishing some routines. You can either go this method or this method. This is off of the fly lady system. This is not what she says. This is what I did um, because it, this is just how my day broke down. It was either before work or after work. Um, but if you stay at home, maybe you want to have a morning and afternoon and a before bed routine. It all depends on what is work, what will work for you. But what is important is that you get everything done throughout the day. So what are you doing at this point? Well, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to start talking in terms of an AM routine and a PM routine. You could even call it, you know, your morning and before bed routine, whatever you want to call it. But this is what worked for me. And this is not such a departure from her system that it's not going to, you know, coincide with what she's saying. So your morning or your AM routine or these are some of the habits you need to, you know, get done during the day. Get up and make your bed. Get dressed to lace up shoes and fix your hair and face. Take a look at your post-its and your bathroom and your kitchen to remind you to check your control journal, which is going to have these routines in there and that will serve as your checklist for the day. Recognize any negative voices that you're hearing that day and change them to something more positive. Do a two minute hot spot, a five minute room rescue, and a 15 minute declutter. I talked about that in my last video on swishing and swiping. If you haven't started decluttering your bathroom, I, I started there when I picked a room and I did that because it was the smallest room and I knew that I would be able to accomplish that the quickest. So I would suggest starting there. Um, after, you know, clothes, I had talked about that much more, much earlier. <laughs> um, read your fly lady emails as a reward for getting your routines done. Put in a load of laundry or finish a load of laundry and swish and swipe your bathrooms. Your PM routine or maybe afternoon before bed, however you want to talk about those, um, would be to get dinner started. So, you know, you want to make sure that you have everything that you need and we'll talk about meal planning later. But, you know, have, have a plan because some things take a while. Something else you can think about is plan crock pot meals if your family is okay with that. Um, my husband doesn't particularly like crock pot meals, but sometimes I can get away with it occasionally. <laughs> and those always make the days easier. If your family isn't as picky, you might be able to get away with that. Another thing that I like to think about are meals that I can, that don't require a lot of tending to. So like baked chicken or things I can put in the oven that I know are going to sit in there for, you know, a half hour to an hour. Um, and I also try to think of sides like that, like baked potatoes. You know, as long as you get them in the oven early enough, you don't have to do anything <laughs> with them at all. So that's why you want to think about dinner earlier you know, as, as early as you can in the afternoon or once you get home from work so that you have time to do those kinds of things. You want to also um, do as part of your PM routine, um, shine your sink. Of course, that will come after you've done your dishes. Lay out your outfit for tomorrow. That was one of the things I would, I, I had several things I would do like right when I got home from work. I would immediately pick up dog poop because <laughs> I have three dogs. Um, and then the next thing that I would do is I would pick out my outfit for the next day so that I didn't have to think about it at all. Um, and I would, I know Fly Lady doesn't get out of her lace-up shoes until she goes to bed, but, you know, if you have to kind of like dress more professionally for work, you're not always in the most comfortable clothes. Um, so when I would come home from work after I picked up dog poop, um, I would go pick out my outfit for the next day and, you know, change into something more comfortable for home. So part of your PM routine is to lay out your outfit for tomorrow, 
do a two minute hot spot, get your laundry either started or finished. Um, things that I added to the PM routine. Well, and you want to check your control journal, make sure you're getting everything done. Um, but things that I added to the PM routine that I kind of took out of the afternoon routine because I did it this way is I would get my lunch ready for the next day. I would usually do that after dinner because if I had leftovers, I would pack those up and I would take those for lunch. I would also prep my breakfast for the next day. I started doing overnight oatmeal in mason jars. That was life-changing because <laughs> I would make my, my breakfast the night before and it was ready to go in the morning. Um, and the other thing that I would suggest that I took she has it in the morning routine, but I put it in the afternoon routine, is put, lay out your dinner for the next day. What's for dinner? Um, because I found that things would not thaw out if I put them out at six in the morning. They were not thawed by the, the time we were ready to have dinner. So I would always put things out the night before in my fridge, and they would be thawed the next day. So um, those are your routines at this point. What is the baby step for today? Well, there really isn't a baby step for today. That's why I took a few minutes to review the routines. Because basically what she says is we need to be patient with ourselves. Most of us are perfectionists. We want to get this done correctly. But we're taking a whole month to establish these routines. And she even says that it, takes, it took her almost a year to establish her routines, you know, practicing every month. And um, that we need to be kind to ourselves because maybe some days you aren't going to get the bathroom swish and swiped or you aren't going to do a load of laundry or you forget to put out your dinner for the next day. You know, things happen. You're learning. This is not something that you're used to. So you just need to be patient with yourself. And this is her reminder. She says in all of her emails, you're not behind. Jump in where we are. And that's something that is like about forgiving yourself. If you leave something off, if you forget to do something, if you just have a terrible day and you don't do any of this, you're not behind. There's no, <laughs> there's no accountability for this system. You're, you're doing this system because you love yourself enough to help yourself have less stress in your life. So just jump in where you are. Whatever you do is better than not doing anything. Be forgiving of yourself. Nobody is perfect. Nobody's going to get everything done all the time. In fact, yesterday, I think that night, I had, I had a major thing happen. Actually, I'll just throw this little story right in here if you don't mind. This is a, a testament to how well this system works sometimes. <laughs> how well it works, just period. Um, it was about mid-morning, it was 11.30ish, um, and I had my routines done, basically like all of my daytime stuff done. You know, I have my nighttime routine, which is like pack lunches and, you know, shine my sink and that kind of thing, but I had everything else done because it was like already 11.30 in the morning, including being dressed to lace up shoes. Thank God. <laughs> um, which worked in my favor. So I was getting up from my kitchen table and I have three dogs and they're all old senior dogs. Two of them are 12 and one of them, he, we don't know exactly how old he is, but based on how long we've had him, he's got to be at least 10. And um, two of them are blind. They're little dogs, so they are always underfoot. Anytime you're near the kitchen, they're there because they are hoping something is going to drop. We don't feed them table stuff because the two that are blind are also diabetic <laughs> but nevertheless they're there because it smells good or whatever you're in the kitchen I got up from the dining room table and one of my dogs just got up under my feet and I'm seven and a half months pregnant I tripped but I caught my balance I thought and then he went right under my feet again and I just crushed his little paw when I say crushed, I didn't crush his paw. I, I, I stepped on his paw hard, but then I fell, <laughs> and I fell so hard on my kitchen floor. Thank goodness I 
was able to land on my hands and knees and not just flat on my stomach and my face. It was so scary. <laughs> Today, when I'm filming this, it's Friday. This happened on a Tuesday. Um, and I, I got up. My mom was here. And I got up, and I mean, and she, we were both just like shaken. My dog didn't even yelp, but he had his paw up, and he had, I had stepped on his paw and cracked his, one of his little toenails all the way to the quick, and like way far in, and it was just bleeding. So we kind of evaluated, can he walk on it? Yes. He didn't yelp. He didn't seem to be in a ton of pain. We cleaned it, we wrapped it. I called my doctor immediately and they said I needed to come in to the hospital and they wanted to monitor everything. Thank goodness all my routines were done. I was ready to go. So once we had wrapped his foot up so he wouldn't you know, bleed all over the place, we immediately got in the car and left. And I didn't have to think, oh my God, I have to take a shower. I have to get my clothes on. I have to fix my face. I have to fix my, none of that. I didn't have to think of any of that because it was already done. And I was in the hospital from, by the time we got there, I think it was like 12 till, I didn't get home until like six because they had me hooked up to monitors and they did blood tests and urine tests and all kinds of things. So the system works <laughs> and it can help you. And I mean, I just think like, what if I hadn't, what if I had been in pajamas and I mean, I hadn't even showered? I don't know. So um, that was a long tangent, but I just wanted to share that with you because it was like the fly lady system helped me. It worked for me. Everything is okay. Oh, this, <laughs> this goes back to what I was saying now I remember. Everything was okay, thank, thank goodness. The baby was fine, um, but I'm, <laughs> I'm recovering from it still. It feels like I got into like a massive car accident. My, my arms and my hands and my wrists, the majority of my weight fell on my hands. My knees hurt a little bit, but it's, it's all through my, my fingers and my back. So, that's just going to take time to recover from. That night, I slept okay. I mean, I was still shaken by it. But then the next day is when I was really sore. And that following night, which would have been Wednesday night, I maybe got two hours of sleep. I was so sore. And I just couldn't get comfortable. And I mean, it was just, oh, it was horrible. So yesterday, I was pretty much a walking zombie. <laughs> and I had a couple of, I had a doctor's appointment and I had a student that I was tutoring and I had several things that I had to do that day. I couldn't just like sleep. So I basically abandoned almost all of my routines for the day. And that's just being honest because I was so tired I could barely even like exist <laughs> and I did get like a nap in in the middle of the day and I thought okay what's more important to me my routines are getting some sleep it was getting some sleep granted my routines probably would have taken me an hour or less to do but I just couldn't even I, I couldn't even fathom that so I dropped them but you couldn't even tell I mean it was like it was it, you couldn't even tell you know, I had some, I did some basic things like I made sure dinner was laid out for today and I, you know, I did, I, I got, or the next day I got some things done, but you couldn't even tell that I had skipped most of my routines. And you can't be a perfectionist. You have to adjust for your life. Fly Lady says, jump in where you are, do what you can. You're not behind. Anything you do is better than nothing. And if you're doing these things on a regular basis and you do have a day where you can't get things done, um, then it, it, you're not going to, it's not going to throw you, you know, that much. So I just wanted to share that story <laughs> because it was, you know, two things about Fly Lady. Getting your routines done in dress, lace up shoes can change your life and you aren't behind. Just do what you can. You know, we all have to deal with our daily circumstances along with any kind of surprises that are thrown in there. Just do the best you can. And that's what today was about.
just reminding you of these things and you know be kind to yourself because you're changing your life and that's not easy so if you have any questions please leave them below in the comments otherwise i will see you tomorrow for baby step 27. bye